Practice makes perfect, right? Well, there's practice and there's practice. So how much can you improve during just one month with just 15 minutes a day if you practice the right way? So in 2022, the summer, I decided to learn a simple exercise left-handed and see how much I could improve. And the results were astonishing. I made a video about it, but I improved by about 350%, <laughs> if I've done the math correctly. Math isn't my strong point. Uh, but the results were, I thought they were astonishing. And here I've edited uh, a short version of that experiment. And after you've watched that, I'll talk about why it was so successful, which things you can do to maximize your learning, or if you ignore those things, how you can basically sabotage yourself. But first, here is a short version of that journey in 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been this kind of a day. <laughs> Okay, so day 16, no progress at all today. <laughs> so frustrated I came out here to enjoy the view. I've been at our summer place this week now, but like I said, really frustrating stuff. And there's a lesson there too. You will get frustrated. And if you're lucky, it'll be just small frustrations, but it can be major. It can be a week, weeks, a month that you think nothing's going your way, you're not improving. But the key there is to just keep going because you will improve if you keep at it. <laughs>
right, so I went from uh, 60 beats per minute to 208 beats per minute, I think was what I did. It was 104 beats per minute, but uh, with eighth notes. So what are the things that helped me achieve this level of improvement? You could say that there are six things. The first one kind of came automatically because uh, it was a 30 day challenge. That means I did it consistently. Consistency is absolutely key. The second bit. Imagine you're sitting on an airplane and the pilot, the captain, says hello, this is your captain speaking. Today I have no idea where we're going. That would be a bit worrying. But that's how a lot of people practice. So second point, I had goals. I didn't really have a big goal, but uh, every time, let's say I did 100 beats per minute, then it was the next number on the metronome. So always a new goal. Number three, and I think this is another one that's absolutely key. Uh, I used a metronome and that lets me measure my progress. But on top of that, I also filmed what I did. Why is this so good? Because it gives you instant feedback. It gives you instant feedback in a way that you don't get while you're playing because you're concentrating on playing. And when you look at yourself, you listen to yourself when you play, uh, you notice things that you might not notice while you're playing. The fourth thing was doing this. No, I don't mean that just doing this was what was the good thing. The good thing that I did was that I focused on the problems. So when I noticed that I could do something with my fretting hand, but my picking hand wasn't really up to speed, I focused on my picking hand. Simple as that. Another thing I did was just to because I was doing it lefty, but I'm doing it right-handed now. Uh, if I was having, if I wanted to increase speed, I did this faster than I could do with the actual exercise. And uh, then I could do So I didn't have the problem of actually changing uh, strings or frets when I moved up a position. It's these things focusing on the, on the problems that helped me I felt oh, a huge amount. Number five, have you ever had that where you're doing something and you constantly get interrupted? I have because I have two kids and I'm betting it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? The thing that I did was that I really focused. So I told everyone in my family to not bother me for 15 minutes and I put my phone on silent mode so that I didn't get any interruptions that way and I really focused. So not just focusing on the problems but I also focused so it was really focused practice. And the last one I was constantly playing on the edge of my ability or practicing on the edge of my ability. That's one thing that a lot of people, myself included, often do. We practice something we already know, which is not really practice. Practice is something where there's a big chance that you'll make a mistake and mistakes are a part of it. It's because you're practicing at the edge of your ability. It's something new or it pushes your boundaries. Simple as that. And that really is the thing. Practice makes perfect. People say that, people believe that, but then they don't really practice. They don't do it consistently. They don't focus. They don't measure their progress. And the great thing about measuring progress as well is that you get added motivation. I noticed that I wanted to do more than 15 minutes after a while because I'd seen such improvement and I wanted to improve even faster. But because this was an experiment where the idea was to do just 15 minutes a day, I didn't do more than 15 minutes because that would have been cheating. If you want to check out what my practice routine looks like these days, there's a video here. If you want to check out the long version of the experiment, there's a video here. Other than that, I hope you find this useful. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. 
and I hope you consider supporting the channel via one of the links in the description. But above all, I hope you have a nice day. Take care. See you. Bye.